Duma OS is full of amazing features, but one of my favorite is the ad blocker. Not only can it block ads, but it can block trackers and malware. And that is really important, especially if you have a lot of equipment. Those things can end up eating a lot of bandwidth. So let's go over how to set it up and even customize your own ad blocker. Setting up your ad blocker is really easy. The very first thing you need to do is log into Duma OS. Once you've done that, you'll scroll down to your ad blocker. You'll load in and there'll be a giant button right here. It says enable ad blocker. Once you've clicked it and you've enabled it, it will switch over to disable ad blocker, but there's no real need to do that. I'll explain why here in a moment, but as you can see right up top, you can see your ad block status, how many curies and stuff that have been blocked and let through and a nice little graph to see what times a day or things are going nuts. And this is great. If you just want to come in and have a quick glance at everything and uh, I really like that. It's right there in your face. You can see what's going on. But if we come back down to our main ad block section, uh, right next to disable ad blocker, you'll see this pause button right here. And if you give it a click, you'll get some options. One minute to an hour. This uh, lets you pause the whole ad blocker uh, anywhere from a minute to an hour. So if there's some testing you want to do or you're noticing issues network wide, you can give it a pause and see if it's caused by the ad blocker and maybe one of the lists you built or maybe even a cloud up. Update. We'll talk about that here in a second. So uh, there's this scroll bar right here. You can kind of scroll around, see what's going on. And you can see each device has uh, uh, its own scroll there, kind of all at once. And then you got your display settings. So it's automatically set at 30 minutes, but you can do your own settings while you're in here and go for like uh, 24 hours. So uh, you will soon see that I have a lot of things that have been blocked in the last 24 hours, depending on when I'm on and what I'm doing. A whole bunch of malware, uh, trackers, you name it. I have all my own block list, which is absolutely nuts. So, um, yeah, th that is your basics right here. You can come by, you can pause individual devices just the same as you can pause the whole network. So if there's an individual device giving you some trouble, you can come by and pause it or just straight up disable it and see if that causes um, the issue to go away. Now, one of the great things about NetDuma and Duma OS is NetDuma curates their own cloud service. That cloud service updates things like the geo filter, the ping heat map, and of course, the ad blocker. So every so often, they'll push a cloud update to all the Duma OS routers, uh, updating with all the latest information. What's great about this is if you run into an issue, you can sign up at forum.netduma.com and say, hey, I have a Chromecast and I'm trying to watch Hulu and it's not, it's not letting me load. And I pause my ad blocker and it goes right back uh, to loading. This is not an issue, but let's just say, for example, that it was. Um, you could let them know that and they can do some testing and fix it. Or if you know exactly what the problem is yourself, you can just describe that. That's something that I came across. I was like, hey, I found some things that are being blocked that shouldn't be. Here's the list that I found. It took like a day and they're like, hey, it's fixed. And I'm like, sweet, I tested and the cloud was updated and I didn't have to have my own whitelist anymore, but I'm doing some testing currently. So we'll go over blacklists and whitelists and how you can curate your own list because I've done so myself and this is really awesome um, especially if you want to just go crazy with blocking trackers and all sorts of things so um, like they've got their own lists, which are ads, tracking, and malware built into your the blacklist side. And on the whitelist side, they've just got recommended whitelist. And that's NetDuma curated. So if there's any issues with those, you can let NetDuma know. But what's great is you can curate your own as well. And as you can see, I've got two currently here on my blacklist side. Blacklist is things you don't want. I have a got kids right they're of that age where they could be curious about things that are um inappropriate so i've got my own list of things that are blocked that are inappropriate right here and i've called it dirty blocker right so that's my list curated by myself that way my kids can't see any of that kind of stuff but let's just say me and the wife we want to we want to we want to have a little night to ourselves again you can come up and pause each device and whatever device you want to pause for however long uh, you need to pause it for. So that will pause, you know, these things that you have your own list here. So if you need some, need some time, pause your device, have your time, pause it back, 
kids can't get at it. All right, so I've also got my big block list. This is full of trackers and malware and all sorts of stuff that I've curated myself. I will have both the dirty blocker list and my big blocker list linked in my Discord. The reason I'm not putting it here on YouTube is because it may not work for you. It may cause problems in your household. And I don't want everybody to be like, hey, that big block list you did, it really messed my network up and I had to go through and test a whole bunch of stuff. Nah, just I'd rather not deal with it. So if you feel like it, join us on Discord. We got a growing community over there. I will link the list there uh, and you can check them out yourself. If they work for you, awesome. If they don't, again, you can curate your own. And this is what I recommend. We'll talk about how I go about finding these uh, malware lists and other things here in a minute. So um, you can come down, you can click add list and you can uh, name your list. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And then you've got some options here. I like to do file, but there's online lists and domains as well. I do not recommend either of those because you don't know exactly how those are being curated. It's just better to have your own list. If you want to try something you really trust, there's an online list or a domain. You're like, I know that I want these blocked or, you know, tracked or whatever the case may be, then go for it. But again, I prefer to curate my own file. And it's just like any other file that you would uh, upload to a device. You can name it, click file, click upload. And I use notepad on my desktop. So you open up a notepad, new notepad, you insert all the domains and stuff that you want blocked right there in the notepad. You click save, put it in a folder somewhere, name it to where you know where it is and, and all that kind of good stuff. And then you'll just click your upload list and you'll come over you'll find it you'll click it you'll upload it you'll add it i've already done all that obviously i've got my two lists here so you can curate your own stuff the way i go about building my own lists is filterlist.com they've got everything here i mean if you can think of something you want blocked it's here all the naughty stuff you want blocked it's here all the tracking stuff you want malware things all that kind of stuff, it's here. So you can come to filterlist.com, I'll have it linked down below, and curate your own list, build it up in a notepad on the desktop, save it, put it in a folder somewhere, name it however you want, add it to the ad blocker yourself. And again, if you run into any issues, you're like, well, you know, maybe I'm having an issue with my own list. Well, you can always come back and curate that list and take away things that you're finding issue with and add things that you know are, uh, that you still want blocked. So yeah, it's pretty simple. It's an awesome feature. It does help you save on bandwidth uh, quite a bit, especially if there's a huge network like I have, there's trackers and things and stuff from computers and Xbox and just everything. And you can have all that stuff blocked and still be able to have a really good online experience. And I definitely recommend turning on your ad blocker. Of course, if you guys have any questions these days, join my discord. It's easier to ask me there. We've got a growing community, like I said previously, and not only me, but somebody else may be able to answer your question rather quick. It's getting really, really, really hard for me to answer everybody's questions that happen here in the comment section. You can still leave comments. I'll try to get back to you, but if I don't, I'm terribly sorry, but try me on discord. I'm pretty active there. So, um, thanks for watching. If this was helpful, smack that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And as always, take her easy.